I think the camera is on. Listen up. I'm Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon and The Blackest Heart, both published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today we're going to be doing my September 2001 book haul. That is all the books I bought in September of 2001. Well, it's not all of them. I did a mid-month book haul from all the books that I bought at Comic-Cons, Connecticut Comic-Con and Salt Lake City Comic-Con. So I did buy some books at those conventions that I got signed by the authors. You can find that book haul somewhere else on my channel. Anyway, we are going to finish out the month, though, with actually books that I bought from Amazon or bookstores, not from Comic-Cons, in the month of September. If you've been following my channel, you know I buy between 5 and 20 books per month, or so I say. But then I usually end up in my book haul showing you like 50 to 70 books. Actually, this time it's kind of a reasonable number. I've got 16 books that I bought in the month of September, minus about 16 more that I bought at Comic-Cons. So that would be like 32. Anyway. We're going to talk about the 16 remaining. Now, if you saw my book, my my first ever Amazon unboxing of an Amazon order, you saw that I bought volume one of the Sandman uh, graphic novel thing. And we you can watch my video of that if you want to learn more about the Sandman. And then I bought book two. I'm not into graphic novels, but I decided... You know, I have some friends that were illustrators in the original Sandman, like Mike Dringenberg and a few others. So I thought that I would um, get these beautiful omnibuses. And, and, and that, was, that was the video that was my first ever unboxing video on the channel earlier this month. You can watch that. Now, I got a little bonus for you. Before we get to the remaining 14 books here, I got a little bonus for you. I haven't bought any, you know I'm into classic rock. I haven't bought any CDs in probably two or three years. But there's one artist that's come out within the last little while that I really like. So I thought I would show you the four CDs that I bought this month. And that is Chris Stapleton Traveler. You know, I'll probably some of, most of you probably know who Chris Stapleton is. You know, Tennessee Whiskey. Um, and then I got uh, Chris Stapleton, Chris Stapleton, and the Chris Stapleton album, which just came out, that is titled, uh, I can't even read that, it's so small, Starting Over. So I really like this guy's music, so I went ahead and bought his entire catalog of stuff, which is only four albums, but yeah, I thought I would. A little bonus, a little bonus there. If I do buy any CDs, I will show those also in these book haul videos. Okay, let's get to the uh, 14 remaining books that I have bought. And I will go through these and tell you a little bit why I bought each one of them. So I bought Desert God and Pharaoh by Wilbur Smith. Turns out I did not. I thought I had owned every Wilbur Smith novel that Wilbur Smith had written himself. Now you can still get Wilbur Smith novels, but much like Tom Clancy, they're written by other people. It's like, you know, Tom Clancy died, but they're still p p pounding out uh, Tom Clancy books. Wilbur Smith is is you know not writing his own books anymore. But these were the last two that he wrote by himself, and so I did not have them in my collection. They are books for. No, five, there are books five and six in his um, Egypt series. So I'm glad to have those. Finally, my Wilbur Smith collection is complete. Got them all. I think I reviewed a Wilbur Smith novel earlier this month. Anyway, what else did I get? Oh, so if you saw my Comic-Con book haul, you know that at Salt Lake Comic-Con I met S.M. Sterling, the guy who wrote... The Change series. So I bought all of his Change series and had him sign them. 
but he's also got this other trilogy that I was interested in. So I also bought this other trilogy from Amazon, which is sort of a spin-off series from the Change series. So if you've read the Change series and you want to read a shorter trilogy that's set in the same universe, get these. This is called the uh, um, Oceans of Eternity, Island in the Sea of Time, and uh, something... I can't read that backwards. Against the Tide of Years. I would have never been able to read that backwards. Um, anyway, so this is a trilogy that's set in his Change universe. Since I ordered these off Amazon, I did not get them signed by him, so I can't brag about that. But I did get my entire Change series signed by S.M. Sterling. So that's five books down. How many we got left? Oh, we've got Ben Bova, Neptune. You know, Ben Bova has also passed away, much like Tom Clancy. But I doubt there will be anybody writing any Ben Bova books. Um, But he still has, I think he passed away a year ago, but I still think there were two or three books in the that he'd finished that we're in the process of being editing that will be coming out. Neptune is one of them. If you follow his Grand Tour series, I suggest you follow his Grand Tour series because he does a, a very in-depth adventure novel about each planet in our solar system, plus asteroid mining in our solar system, plus a lot of the moons around Jupiter and Saturn get their own books. I mean, the Grand Tour series is just phenomenal, and I love it. And it's got great cover. Every single one of them in the, every single book in the Grand Tour series, which I think is about 20 or 25 books, has a great John Harris painting. So they're great, great to have. This is a uh, Neptune. Then I got, um, in the James R. Ben World War II Mysteries, maybe you've seen me review a handful of these on the channel, but this is a mystery series that's got um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. This is book number 15 in the series. They are about a military policeman in World War II that solves mysteries throughout the uh, World War II stuff. You know, all the way from uh, 1940. I think it starts in 1943 and then it, i think this book is probably a set a little bit after world war ii stops but anyway a lot of murder mysteries during world war ii in all the different countries and uh our hero billy boyle is the cop the military policeman that uh solves the murders i really love this series it is steeped in world war ii and military history and police history so if you want to learn everything about world war you read this I'll show you. I've got the whole series up here. They're all right there with the weird yellow spines. But if you read that whole series, you will know everything about World War II. And some stuff you probably didn't want to know. But anyway, got that one. What else do we got? Oh, Dragons of Summer Flame by Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman. I have been sort of buying... You know, I, I owned the original six Dragonlance novels my entire life. I've had them up there on the shelf for 30 years. Well, no more than that. 35, 40, I don't even know how long it's been. But I've slowly sort of started buying other Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman books. Now, Dragons of Autumn Twilight was book one. Dragons of Winter Night was book two. Dragons of Spring Dawning was book three. And then years and years later, they came out with Dragons of Summer Flame to fill out the four seasons, I guess. And so I've not read this yet. So it's the continuing adventures of the first uh, Dragonlance trilogy. If you uh, know anything about this book, drop me a line and uh, drop a comment because I don't know what this is going to be about. I mean, I loved the way the first trilogy wrapped itself up. So we'll see if, uh, we'll see if I like that one or not. Craig Johnson, Next to Last Stand. Yes, the next book in the Longmire series. I love the Longmire TV show. And the books are every bit as dope. So this is book number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. This is book 16 in the Longmire series. I've got the entire Longmire series up here on that shelf right there. I'll show you the... Uh, I'll show you the um, Wilbur Smith books since we talked about Wilbur Smith earlier. They are down there. 
But anyway. I'll edit all that together so it all flows nicely. Anyway, the last... The next to... What is it? The ne next to last stand. Book number 16 in the Longmire series. Got that one? Oh, here's an interesting one. Here's an interesting buy. So I very rarely go into used bookstores. Because I just think they're grotesque. If you... If you know anything about me, I'm very OCD with my book collection and people, books that have been touched by other humans, just, I can't, I, it just, they make my skin crawl. Maybe you watched my video on how to keep your uh, books in pristine condition. Watch that video and it'll tell you a lot about me. You know, I, I try to keep all my books in mint condition and anyway, I went into a used bookstore and they had this trilogy of Westerns. All in Mint Condition by Elmer Kelton. The Texas Rangers series. Oh, the Sons of Texas series. I think the first books is the Sons of Texas. Then there's the Raiders and the Rebels. And uh, the great and the, with great cover art. I couldn't pass up these books that had such great cover art. And so I got the trilogy and they were all in nice shape. And I think I bought the whole trilogy. I think I bought the whole thing for eight bucks total, but they looks pretty spiffy there. I mean, look how nice those are. I've never read an Elmer Kelton Western, but I'll probably read this trilogy at some point and maybe leave a review. But God, look at, just look at how gorgeous that cover is. It's just absolutely beautiful. And you know, any book titled The Raiders is probably going to be pretty cool. If it was titled The Broncos, I'd probably vomit. Denver Bronco uniforms. I vomit on sight. Vomit on sight. I can't even, I can barely watch them on TV. It's make me ill. Just a fucking ill. The Alpha Engine by W. Michael Gear. I saw this in the bookstore the other day. I'm like, oh, W. W. Michael Gear's got another book out. Now, W. Michael Gear's written a ton of science fiction novels, plus he wrote all of the People of the Wolf novels. I've got his entire W. Michael Gear and um, Kathleen O'Neill Gear. I've got their entire collection of books right there on those two shelves. But I did not know about this book until I saw it in the bookstore, and then I bought it, and then I realized it's been out for a while, and somehow it slipped by me. So the Alpha Enigma, I don't know anything about it, but I do know that W. Michael Gere is one of the best writers and one of my favorite writers. Last one on the list, folks. The last book, and that is Empire of the Vampire. I bought this this month. I reviewed it. I already reviewed it on the channel. So you can look for my review of Empire of the Vampire by Jay Kristoff. And that wraps up. And it was a good book. I liked it. In fact, if you didn't see the review, I talked about this Barnes & Noble exclusive edition. Go buy this book at Barnes & Noble. Don't buy it off Amazon. Because Barnes & Noble did an exclusive edition that has extra artwork in it. Like it's got like a artwork on about every 10th page. And the artwork is really cool. And the Barnes & Noble exclusive editions are also all autographed by Jay Kristoff. You can see the autograph there. Right there. I, I, my, my, my middle finger is right on it there. Anyway, um, that's it. That's the 16 books I bought in the month of September. Plus, I bought another 16 or so on mod books at Comic-Cons and a few CDs. And that's, that's my September book haul. We'll see you again for another book haul in January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, October.